guys welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Felicia everybody calls me Flick in today's video after chasing down the DPD delivery driver for my parcel for two days because he didn't bother to even try delivering um, I have the new HMB uh, silky matte weightless foundation I have another one of their concealers I also have the pressed powder but on top of that we are finally sitting down to try the Curve Case, the P. Louise Bronzer and a few other bits. So if you would like to see how I got on with it and wear tests because I've set reminders to do them, then keep on watching. Oh hi, so I've got a bag of stuff. Some of this I've already shown you like the Curve Case and the P. Louise bronzer which we are going to finally be using today but I got another order through eventually after I nearly chased the DPD man down yesterday um, I got my HMB order so I picked up the new silky matte weightless foundation I picked up another shade of the concealer I picked up SF 2W I have 1.5 W um, and I picked up their press powder as well in fair I think I'm pretty sure I picked up Ooh, <laughs> you drop that. Pretty sure I picked up that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna play with those. Um, I've already primed my face. I used my Primark Bobbi Brown dupe. Um, I've got some little dry patches here and I don't quite know why. Um, but it's fine, I've used that. Um, it is a water-based moisturizer slash primer. Um, and the foundation is also water-based. Uh, found out that's why it doesn't like poor uh, blurring primers. That would make sense. So I got the shade MF6W. Um, I got LF6W obviously in the other one. Um, they come up ever so slightly different just because of the formulation from what I've seen. So yeah, I will zoom you in that's a horrible sight um just so obviously you can see more close up oh oh hold on a minute so i've got a pump and i've just yeah <laughs> just unscrewed the pump that was clever of me i love this packaging i really it's like soft matte it's silky <laughs> it's very pretty i do like it so let's the other one like I always do two pumps but I always end up doing too much. I will do two pumps with this one just because I don't know how far, like let me zoom you out a tiny bit, there we go, uh, yeah just because I don't know how far it will go so I'll do the two pumps like I normally would and we'll see what that's like oh okay it's not a very thick consistency but it's not a thin consistency it's kind of in the middle from what I can tell just by like putting it on the skin like that so I'm going to use my oh, Shein brush as always I love this brush but I'd much prefer applying my foundation with a brush it feels very lightweight on the skin which is nice like that redness is gone I like that. That feels really nice on the skin as well, which is nice. Doesn't feel heavy, doesn't feel restrictive, like you know how some of them as they're drying down. Could almost make your skin feel a bit tight. This, I'm not getting any of that with this. I 
is jawline. Okay, and all that obviously my eyes haven't been touched. Um, yeah, like that redness that I had here is completely covered. Um, okay, I'm optimistic. And so yeah, I got what did I say? SF2W in the concealer. I have got 1.5W, which is great for brightening. I wanted something that had more to my skin tone. Itchy ear. So, yeah, let's. Okay, okay. I might go in in a minute with 1.5, obviously, to brighten if I need it. But, do, 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 do. again, this has got lovely coverage and it doesn't cake or crease on me which I love because nobody wants cakey or creasy eyes you know we've all got lines under our eyes and you know in a lot of cases creasing is inevitable especially if you're like me and you have a very expressive face um or you do what you can to minimize but you know it's one of those things I am like patting that rather than swiping. Okay, I'm just going to take that and just over that edge. That's looking nice. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a tiny bit more. So that is how that's looking at the moment. I think it looks really nice actually, but I'm impressed. Right, now we're finally moving on to the curve case. You think I've had this, it's been two weeks since my birthday and I'm only now finally getting around to actually trying this. <sighs> right, so we have got Natural Coral Cold Heart Strawberry Cream, Shady Business, Cream Carb, Hollow There and Collectible. So, again, do I want more peachy or pinky? I don't know, I'm going to use the Collectible um, Bronzy Contour Shade. Um, so I'm going to take a P. Louise brush, this is the F32 and maybe that was too big a brush but that's fine that uh, I understand the hype with the curve cases now I get it, that blends lovely It took me ages to buy this, honestly. And the only reason I did is my birthday and my brothers point blank refused this year. And same for Christmas actually as well. They're like, no, I'm not getting you makeup. It's a cop out. Well, yeah, but it's a cop out that you've asked me and I've told you what I wanted. And they were saying no, so. Sod you all, I'll buy it myself. That I did. It's just nice and lightweight and that colour is lovely as well. I'm gonna take a bit of mm, do you want to take a bit of hollow there? No, do you know what actually no I'm not because I know I will end up going overboard. So let me just maybe build that up a little bit more. It's got a horrible feeling if I go in with one of the other darker ones I will end up going overboard and then it's going to be a lot more blending than I want to do. I'm going to take what's left on the brush and just kind of go down the side of my nose. Oh it smells nice. Okay. 
that is lovely. Um, okay, now let's use another flat brush. It's one of the Barbie Primark ones. Um, do you know what? I've done peach all week, so I think I want to go a bit of pink. I'm going to take Cold Heart, and then I'll probably go in with a bit of strawberry cream as well. But this Cold Heart shade is screaming my name. And so I've not done like pink blush all week. <laughs> Every time I've done it, it's been um, peach. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Okay, I can see how it would be easy to go overboard with this, but I am finding it like relatively easy not to, which is you know, always good. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of strawberry cream as well. Obviously, I have still got to set this down. So, there is a chance when I go in with my powder that it will um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like mattify and take away a bit of the intensity. Again, before I powder, I'm going to take my foundation brush and I'm just going to make sure all of my creams are nice and blended into my face. Okay, another win. I'm liking that. Right, now let's use the pressed powder. Oh, yeah, there goes a little sticker. I got a fair. So. I've got a little button to open it. This is what it looks like. Obviously, the lighting is making it look a lot brighter. Um, let's take. Let's jump. Let's take another Barbie brush. Um, gonna use this fluffy. I'm gonna do one side of my face first, so I'll do this side. And then we can see how it looks compared to the other side. I will take a smaller brush and set like under my eyes with that. Okay, so this side is set, this side is not. Again, even with it being set, my face doesn't feel like tight or heavy where I've obviously laid all the products down. I need a brush to set under my eyes. Right, yeah, let's take this. This is the F37 from P. Louise. Don't oh, mind me, that's still got the bloody sticker on it, I can't see anything. brush to make sure that it's nice and set under the eye okay so this is how it's looking with all of that um, being set down now we're on to powders so I've got my cheek of it um, bronzer in cookie cut I got this in the bundle with the brush um, I could have got it in a bundle with a liquid but I already have cookie cup and I know I like the shade so I didn't see the point um so yeah this is how it looks I'm going to use the pretty sparkly brush that it came with I'm going to, have to get one of the blush palettes out I think to decide which blush shade to use Oh, that's a lovely finish. That's really nice. I'm going to run it over the bridge of my nose. I don't know how I like this 
brush particularly for the bronzer. I think that, that would probably work better for blusher. But that, I like that a lot. I can, um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I need blush and to do something with my eyes. I'm gonna go do the rest of this off camera. Um, and then I'll come back and show you what it's all looking like and that. Um, but for, yeah, for now, I am very pleased with how this is looking. Right, I am back. This is the finished look, what do we think? Um, for my eyes, I did my lazy method again. Um, but instead of just using one of my little face palettes, I actually took the bronzer palette that we got. I just dropped the last tray. Um, <laughs> the bronzer palette we got in the advent calendar and used a couple of darker shades. And seeing as we we're also using Mitchell today, I used Drip Drip um, for that beautiful sparkle. I can see, again, I understand the hype with Drip Drip. I understand the hype with the Curve Case. Um, and on that note, yeah, everything that I have used, I love. Um, I am going to set alarms to remind me to do check-ins later in the day um, but overall I really like how my skin looks I do think it looks really nice it is matte but I've got a bit of a glow as well um, it's not a heavy matte it is a very soft matte um, yeah I'm, I'm impressed the concealer I know I love already the pressed powder is really nice curve case I understand the hype love that um what else did i use the new p louise bronzer love that it's just everything's just kind of come together really nicely so yeah it is I've had, oh wow i've been filming for two hours took my time today <laughs> so it's 12 o'clock now i will probably do a check-in around three o'clock uh i'll set a reminder to do a check-in about three and then maybe about five or six i'll probably do another one so yeah let me know what you think have you tried any of these bits are you getting the foundation in all honesty as it stands now i would 100 percent recommend i love how it looks we'll see how it lasts on my oily skin um but yeah as it sounds i would 100 percent recommend that right now um but yeah let me know if you've got any of it if you are getting any of it and yeah that is me done for now um i'll see i'll put some check-ins in here somewhere okay so this is a check-in it is five past three yes i'm well aware it will come so new car still getting used to that um so yeah this is how it's looking at five past three do you know what well, i think it's looking all right um my oils are coming through ever so slightly here i don't know if you can see it there i could see it in the mirror but where like my smile lines and stuff it was just starting just on that side though but all things considered this is looking really nice right i am back it is 20 to 7 this is my final check-in um and yeah this is how it is looking let me zoom you in let's have my light up a little bit not that much so as you can see like my oils are coming through here ever so slightly but I look dewy rather than oily uh, sunk into my forehead lines what can I say I have a very expressive face um, but yeah overall I'm really really impressed with the foundation um, yeah I would probably try it with a couple of different primers obviously don't use a pore filling primer um or like an oil based primer because it is a water based foundation uh, i learned that the hard way with the luminous foundation they, they did um but yeah to be fair i feel like if i maybe used a powder puff or something and like packed powder a little bit more and setting spray setting spray would have probably been a really good idea didn't think about that um but yeah overall i am very impressed but uh, yeah, on that note, that is me finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, leave me a comment down below, all of that good stuff. Socials, as always, will be up here. They will also be linked down below. And yeah, I will link all of this down below for you. Um, again, another reminder, 
TikTok shop does have some really good bargains. Um, I've got all of this added to my TikTok shop anyway. Um, but yeah, the coupons on TikTok shop really do help. I mean, I got it on a massive deal. I think I paid £30 for all three items. So the foundation, the concealer and the powder. The foundation is normally 20 the concealer is 16 and the powder, I believe, is 13 I think it said. <laughs> Something like that. But yeah, I got a really good deal. So, yeah. On that note, I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.